What's up guys? This is Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. Just want to say Happy New Year. We're excited for the new year to get some more videos in. Our first one this year is our good friend Justin. We were with him at Florida 2K if you saw that video. We're super excited about this car. We're actually at his shop here. He's got a lot going on back here, so that's really cool to see. So uh, Justin, tell me what kind of car do we have here? Here we have a 2002 SS Camaro. It's a 35th anniversary. I bought the car back in 2007. I actually Butler Enterprise. It's a dealership that's on 17. It was kind of a used car dealership. A buddy of mine went to lunch and saw it out there. They had it up on the hill and I was always looking for one for a while. And it was a six speed bone stock. It was a one owner. The guy that had it didn't really take care of it. It had like coffee stains on the interior. It's like he never washed it. Still the original paint. I never had it painted. I tried to take good care of it. I actually was daily driving it for a while. Um, it was my only car at one point. Yeah, that's that's definitely awesome that you've had this car forever because, I mean, even doing these videos, a lot of these guys, they'll own it for a little bit, then they sell it, regret it, and so it's cool that you have had this car actually, since forever. It was like it was meant to be. Like, my yeah. buddy went, he went there, saw that. I literally, as soon as I got off of work, I went to the dealership. Yeah. Test drove in, was like, I gotta, get, I gotta have it. Yeah, you're so I went to SunTrust Bank, got a loan. I paid like thirteen nine for it, okay. and uh, yeah, it was just from there. I just was like, I'm not getting rid of this car. Yeah. When my daughter was born, I put the car aside. I never like even in hard times. Yeah. I never found myself putting this car up for sale. It's just it's like it's my child. The motor we have in here is actually it's an aluminum six liter block. It's got Y scale boost pistons, a Eagle rod, stock crank. The heads on it are Wilkes Performance. They're actually 862s. They're ported um, as much as you can get out of them. I have a uh, Edelbrock intake on there. VTR Brian Tooley Racing valve train. I have their Stage Three uh, turbo cam in here. Their 660 springs, and um, I actually have Johnson drop in lifters. Still have uh, plastic trays in there and VTR push rods. The motor is actually built by me and um, it's on Hall EFI Terminator X. I have a VS Racing T6 Turbo, it's a 8596. The turbo kit was actually done by a buddy of mine, Doug. He did all the fabrication on it and stuff. The idea was, was made by me and he just put it to work and made the uh, turbo kit the way it is. That right there just catches so much attention right away. It's crazy when we're at Florida 2K, I noticed a lot of people coming up to this car. So, and I think that has a lot to do with it. It's just in your face and it looks, it just looks badass, you yeah. know, so. And that, it actually, the goal with it was a lot of cars that do forward facing, they usually race cars. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to drive this car on the street, take it to the track and stuff. So I wanted to run an air to air intercooler and keep a radiator. So it was kind of tough making that work, but it, we just laid the radiator down, made some brackets and ran a uh, Treadstone intercooler and it worked. Me and my daughter went to uh, Savannah River Dragway. Um, I drove the car there, ran a 590 and drove it home. That's Everybody awesome. was like, oh man, we saw it. Like they were taking videos at uh -huh. the gas station stuff and you know, it was pretty cool yeah, uh, to see people's reaction on it. Totally. You didn't push the motor back. It's, that's how it sits. It looks like it's kind of pushed back. Yeah, a lot of, that's like question I get asked by a lot of people. That's like, this just all the F bodies are like that, but it looks, further back because of the intake that I'm running. And this usually a support here. We actually cut that out and put a tube here for the turbo and you know, all the piping. So it looks like it's further back. We've had to cut the cowl out right there a little yeah. bit just because the intake doesn't clear. Yeah, I think that's where it got me a little bit too. And what's the, the horsepower that this, cause I know you got a dyno in here, so yep. you, you got to know some numbers, right? Yeah, this actually, this setup here, we actually put it on the dyno um, it made 1202 on 29 pounds. Um, the combo is capable of a lot more, but I just wanted to be able to be reliable, take it to the track, drive it, and not, not push the combo and, and hurt the head gasket and stuff. Because you, you have some plans to do some drag and drives. Yeah, that's my plan. This, this 2023, I really want to take this car to a drag and drive. Um, with the shop, I've been so busy, and yeah, it's hard sure. to make time to do that. But next year, I really want to take this car out there and do some drag and drive yeah, stuff. That'll be exciting, man, for sure. I'd love to see this at one of the events. Uh, what is the uh, transmission that you're running on the car? The transmission's actually, uh, it's a TH400. The specs on it, I'm not 100% on. It's built by uh, Jerry Waller. It's a stock case, it has billet drums, good clutches, a longer second gear. The converter is Circle D. I'm actually a dealer for them, so they hooked me up with a good converter. Nice. You know, it's got a precision industry shifter on it. It's actually got a forward pattern instead oh, okay. of reverse. Oh, it's nice. a reverse valve body in the 
the trans, but they make it where they flip it so you can oh, shift it wow. forward. That's cool, man. And obviously trans brake and all that good stuff on there. Another thing too, these coils on the motor are actually the original coils from 2002. <laughs> I have not replaced them. I still got seven millimeter plug wires and all, but I hadn't touched all that. Some stuff on the car that I really need to touch up and redo, but for the most part, you know, the big stuff is, is already kind of there. What, what I've seen to figure out is no matter what you do, how much you do of it, there's always gonna be something else. All right, so let's talk about the wheels and tires a little bit. What are you rocking as far as wheels go? Yeah, those I actually bought used. They were real, real dull. Okay. Um, I had them polish up. They're uh, billet specialties. Okay. Um, they're actually 15 by 10s in a rear. And then the fronts are uh, 15 by like four and a half. So you got hoosers all the way around it. The tire size in the front, are 26, four and a half. And then the rear is a 28 hooser. So okay. it's a 275. The suspension is actually, that's another thing that I need to upgrade. Um, right now it's got QA1 single adjustables in the front. The rares are actually Viking double adjustables, coilovers. And I actually have 8.8 back there. It was built by Hawks Performance. It's got a spool, 35 spline axles, 27 gear in the back. Um, I also have uh, anti-roll bar back there. Fuel system I have in this is actually I have Bosch 210 injectors and I have actually two A1000 Aeromotive pumps. I actually mounted them on the frame rails in the back. So, and then I run an Aeromotive A1000 regulator and that's pretty much it. It's on E85. Um, okay. I run pump E85 on the street and then I'm at the track, I just put Renegade E85. Hey, the interior in here, uh, the seats are actually Kirky and aluminum seats with covers. I got the Racecraft F body brackets. The funny thing is I had to put them on the last notch because I'm so tall. Oh yeah. So they're out like all the way maxed out. Factory dash, I had to do a, an aftermarket dash pad because it F bodies, they like crack and get yeah, brittle. and. Easy. And with the cage and all that, I just did an aftermarket style there. Still has a radio, still works. So I have speakers, factory door panels, yeah, all that. Man. The windows work. That steering wheel there is actually Motion Race Works. I have my bump button on there and my trans brake button. I think that kind of wraps up the interior here. I say we get some cameras in the car and go for a cruise. What do you think? Sounds good, man. All right, let's do it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video and Justin dude, thank you so much for, for letting me do this. I'm I'm super excited to do this and we've been looking forward to it. So 
appreciate, I appreciate you it. Thank it. you for the opportunity, man. And you know, like I said, I'm, I enjoy watching your videos and what you're doing and stuff and Thank you very much. putting this car out there for inspiring other people that are building similar cars. And it's just a Heck cool yeah, thing. Man. That's, I really appreciate that's the whole point, man. So if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.